Hi there, Jamie Keat here tonight. Hope everyone's having a fantastic night. Uh, tonight we're going to take a look at um, little ways to make Gmail better all the time and I want to specifically look at filters. Uh, in a previous video I've talked about labels and how important they are to help organize uh, your Gmail with all the emails you get. And But I find filters brings it to that next level uh, just to make yourself a little bit more productive. And let me show you just a, a little quick tutorial how to how to create these filters and how to use these filters. So um, I just have a, one of my accounts I don't use very much but I'm going to create some uh, filters for this one. Uh, so I'm going to go over to my uh, over to my settings and I'm going to show you two different ways uh, to create your filters and I'm going to click on settings and then I'm going to go across the top here where it says filters and blocked addresses and right now you can see I have no filters here so I'm just going to create a new filter now what I can do is I can put the email from a person that I want to create the filter from or uh, to or subject or has the words or doesn't have. Um, I'm just going to give you a, an example. I'm going to type in the word YouTube here and what this is going to do is it's going to search any email that I have and if it has the word YouTube in it it's going to uh, perform an action and I'm going to get it to perform an action where it puts a label on it. Uh, so I'm just going to, um, not, I'm not going to click any of these. You can see I can uh, check if it has an attachment or even if it is of a certain size, I can filter them. So I'm just going to go ahead and click this here. And now I have another uh, list of different things I can do. Uh, I'm going to be applying a label in this one because this kind of takes your labels and even helps everything organize, your, uh, organize it before even you have to drag your labels on over. So it kind of takes a step out of the way to keep, even make you more efficient. Uh, so, uh, as you can see, there's a list of different things that you can do here, um, but what I want to show you is the label part here. Uh, so you can create a new label right from here too. As I said, I've shown you how to create a label uh, from a different way, but you can create your label right in here, or you can use ones uh, that you already have. So I'm just going to use, uh, actually, I'm just going to hit new from here, and I'm just going to call this uh, example 5, because I have a few different uh, examples, and I'll, I'm going to nest it under here and I'm going to go create and uh, now the next thing I'm going to do is I want it to apply on all the ones that I've already have like if I have messages in my mailbox I want it to go back and apply it to it uh, you can already see it's already picked that it has two matching conversations in it but I'm just going to click this little box here and I'm going to create the filter so now when I go back to my inbox here actually the other thing I'm going to do is I've shown you how to change the colors I'm going to change this to a different color just so it's easier to see too uh, I'm going to change it to a, I'll just change it to this orange right here. All right, so I'm going to go back to my inbox now, and you can see the two messages that have the word YouTube in it. So if I click on this one, and I just sent it from a different account, um, if I try to find the word YouTube, there it is. So it was able to scan through the messages and find that one word. So you can do it from a single word uh, that if you know if it's coming through, you can organize your messages like that. But you can also organize it through emails in many different ways. Uh, the other way to do it that might save you some time is actually if you have a certain message, uh, let's say I'll go use this example one right here. Uh, when you're inside your message, you'll notice that if you click these drop downs right here, uh, you have filtered message like this and it's also up here under the more one you see filter message like uh, these two so you can click on these so I'll click on it and you notice what it does right away is it is it adds the person from where it's from so this is where it's sent to another account and I can go through and uh, again I can add if I wanted any more words added to it I can go ahead I'm just I'm not going to add anything to it and I'm going to hit uh, create new filter Again, I can, this time I can either create a new label or choose, I'm going to choose the example two one that has the red and I'm going to apply it to any of the previous ones. You can see already it's found four previous ones matching. Hit create filter and you'll see now uh, that it has, if I go into the different ones here, um, it's already filtered different ones if it's connected to that email address. So that's how you can use your filters. Remember, if you create your labels first, I mean, you don't have to create your labels because you can add it at that fact, but it's a great easy way to keep your productivity up inside your email uh, and keep things really labeled uh, easily uh, without you having to do too much once it's set up. So I hope you like this little tip about how to make your Gmail better. And if you do, please give it a thumbs up. And remember, subscribe to my channel for weekly tech tips. I'll see you next time.